Hey everybody, today I'm going to take a look at this Bob Lov Refractive Telescope. I do like the box that it comes in. It's be great for any kind of birthday or uh, Christmas present. So let's go ahead, take a look inside and see what we got. So when you first take the telescope out of the box, you're going to notice that you get this really nice carrying bag. This is pretty awesome because you don't have to worry about all your delicate telescope parts rattling around inside the box. There's a nice carrying case for it. This is going to make it great for camping or just using it in the backyard and having a really excellent place to store it. So here you're going to have your objective lens and barrel. You're going to get your stainless steel tripod. You're also going to get a little carrying case here, which are going to be good for your lenses and your zenith mirror. You have a remote shutter trigger, a red dot viewfinder, and then your accessory tray. Also, you're going to get your instruction booklet here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your tripod here. Go ahead and set it down and then you can take your accessory tray and you want to have it so the tray parts up and you're just going to set this down in the little thing here and then rotate it and it will lock in and make sure everything's nice and sturdy. Taking your objective lens in this little copper piece and just sliding it into place. And you will need to make sure that this little knob is screwed out. And then that will slide into place. And then you're going to want to tighten it with the knob here. So the next step is to take your zenith lens and your eyepiece and attach them to the telescope itself. Now, one thing you can do with this also is add this Barlow lens, and this will do a three times magnification of whatever your eyepiece is. And this is easy to do here. You're going to unscrew this little tightening screw here, put your eyepiece in, and then tighten this up. Next, you'll install the Zenith lens with the eyepiece onto the objective and barrel. And this is easy to do by just unscrewing these little tightening pieces in, sliding this in, and then tightening that shut. So this is the red dot viewfinder. You're going to attach that into this little pocket right here. And again, you just want to loosen up this little screw, slide it into place like so and then tighten that in there. So this little piece right here is what makes this telescope pretty cool. You're gonna have this little clamp that will screw in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your eyepiece in here and then tighten this up so it's nice and snug. And you also wanna make sure that it's flush this direction as well when you tighten that in there. And now you're gonna be able to put this into the telescope. And this will have a little cell phone holder right here. And this is what you'll be able to use to put your cell phone lens right over this little hole. And you're gonna be able to take pictures of whatever you see on the end of the telescope. So you can see that assembly and use of the telescope is very easy. It's not intimidating once you start using it. And the viewfinder here really helps out with locating your targets with stars, moons, planets, things like that that you want to take a look at. Disassembly is equally easy and I really love the fact that everything fits right back in that carrying bag. So here's some video that I took of the moon on a hazy night. Even with the not optimal viewing, you can still see all of the craters, which is pretty amazing. And here is a shot of Jupiter, and the small dots around it are its moons. And then next here we have a shot of Saturn. 